Cheers guys, how's it going? Let's go on the ride in the garage, I could be, which is good. Right, today we, um, we're we going to try tackle the the taillight, the stoplight, as I promised um, previously. So I'm going to try to do some um, mount and bracket and the position where to put it in. Actually the taillight, there's a story behind the taillight as well. Um, I was looking for a, something a little bit different, but keep it classy, keep it kind of simple, you know, not over the top, um, but kind of a, a little bit different. And I uh, and I spotted this this taillight, which is uh, um, just a generic uh, kind of Harley Davidson sports star kind of replacement light or some some other stuff. It's all metal, so it's uh, pretty good quality. Um, and it's got a um, number plate illumination underneath, which is uh, all good because it's all in one place. And it's a pretty good quality taillight. Uh, it wasn't super expensive, but it wasn't super cheap either, so kind of in between. Um, so I'm going to go with that. Um, when I first ordered that taillight, um, I had a different idea of where to mount it. And I had it already set up in my mind, everything, and it was always looking good in my head. But when I actually got it... Uh, I completely changed direction of uh, what I'm going to put it in and I kind of went against myself uh, of what to do with it um, and that kind of proves that there's no set direction nothing is set in stone when it comes to that build of the uh, of this Yamaha uh, it kind of evolves as it goes and um, it proves the point you know as I said before um, you you kind of need to see the thing in flesh before you can decide on what to do with it uh, same goes with paint job as well. Lots of you asking me for the paint job. What color is it going to be? What scheme is it going to be? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, I've got a few ideas. I narrow it down to probably four or five options. Um, but I'm not thinking that far ahead yet, you know. At the moment, I'm thinking about this. Uh, how to mount it, how to make it neat, how to make it right. Uh, colors will come later. But I will really need to have the complete product. Take it outside, take it for a spin look at it and it will come it will just appear and i will have no doubt about it but that will come later um but let me show you what i had in mind before and what i've decided to do with that taillight um <laughs> let's take it let's do it from there cheers again right so here we are on the back of the bike i <laughs> put my sticker on it looks pretty cool eh um anyway um, here we are on the back of the bike and what I originally had in mind is to mount the taillight in here, right? Kind of like this, but there was no dimensions of this taillight and I was hoping it's going to be smaller. Um, it is quite big and over here it's just, it's just not going to look right because it's just sticking out too much even if it's as far as it can be. And also from the side it kind of ruins the the nice profile you've got this line going over here all the way through the bike and it's just kind of sticking that in here it's just not gonna look right and I know I can get smaller light I can just return it there's no problem and I can get smaller light so it kind of fits in there but then even if it's smaller light let's say um, I got a polishing disc over here which is made smaller it, it would look better right it would look slightly better but you can still see it from the side and obviously I will need to put a number plate underneath the light, which is going to be over here. And I'm just kind of, I was dreading that, that I didn't want to have, you know, anything sticking that, because I really like that massive space I've created over here. And I really, and I really like that lines. Don't want to ruin it, so even if I get smaller light or anything else, it will still be sticking over here. Uh, it's just not going to look right, so I want to keep it as it is. And it's kind of happy accident that this, uh, that this light is bigger than I want it to be. Because that means I'm not going to mount it here. I need to find a different spot to mount it. And I was thinking mounting it somewhere on the back there, you know, which would look kind of alright. But then I like that single mount point I've created. I was working so hard to create that point and it's got really nice lines to it. So I'm not going to, I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to mount it anywhere in there. And then I'm looking, looking and looking at the bike. And I spotted something I spotted some time ago, uh, which is right here if you look at the swing arm or maybe the swing arm support the brace this thing the gap on the right hand side it's way bigger than on the left hand side not sure if you can spot it properly maybe that's a better angle but 
the wheel kind of looks offset. I mean, it is perfectly in line with the bike and with the front wheel, but because of um, of the shaft drive and accommodation of, uh, I believe, the drum brake, Yamaha made it the swing arm, the, the brace for the swing arm anyway, slightly off. And that gave me an idea. I'm gonna mount the taillight over there. And you know what? That is just the right size for it. And it's gonna look just right. I can mount it really close to the tire, like this, and put a number plane underneath. And that should look alright. Um, I said before, I'm going kind of against myself, because I don't want to do a side mount on a on a kind of coffee racer build you know side mount is a is a thing you do on the choppers really you know custom kind of cruisers and and, and bobbers that is a side mount coffee racer didn't really want, didn't really want to go for the side mount option it's not not my thing not on this bike anyway but when you do side mount they usually they usually somewhere over here when i'm gonna go over there i think it's gonna look right especially having all this all this gap you know looking from the distance is completely offset you know the swing arm so I'm gonna accommodate that and I'm gonna mount the the tail over there and a, and a number plate underneath and no I'm not gonna use full-size number plate I know it's illegal to use a smaller one but you know fuck that shit <laughs> I'm not having a massive number plate on this bike it's a custom bike it deserves a smaller plate and if police are gonna stop me, well, fuck it, they're gonna stop me, you know. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with it when it happens. But I'm hoping no police officer is watching this. <laughs> if you do, if you do, don't stop me. <laughs> oh well, uh, I'm getting myself in trouble here, digging deeper and deeper. Well, anyway, that's the plan for today. Leaving this side alone, leaving this smooth, the tail section smooth as it is, keeping these really nice lines. I really don't want to mess it up, uh, so I'm gonna mount it there, and I'm. I reckon that's gonna look really good over here. Keep it really close to the tire, not on the bottom, but right there. And then number plate underneath, you know, um, probably sideways or something. I don't know, kind of American style. See what happens. So uh, that's the plan for today. Uh, if it's not gonna work, I'm gonna think of some other w ways and options of doing it. But hopefully, hopefully that is um, that is a killer idea. So. Uh, uh, let me do some measuring, uh, some mock-ups, and, uh, and then we take it from there.
so uh, there we have it guys uh, a little bracket made for the um, custom made bracket for the light to accommodate it on the um, swing arm as you can see I tapped and uh, drill and tapped the um, thread in the actual uh, swing arm brace um, don't worry that will not damage integrity of that unit it's a solid box section uh, probably two mil thick on each end you know two small holes will not uh, um, cause any problems any issues whatsoever I guarantee you that my ass is on this bike so I'm sure it's gonna be more than good enough um, little brackets are made from one piece of um, mild steel that's two and a half mil uh, so it's solid ain't going nowhere uh, as you see me I welded just on the joints um, just to make give it that in super extra integrity because it was a bit it was a bit flexible when I when I bent it but it's looking good now uh, ready to put it back on it uh, just doing some final touches um, I always like to finish little things like this by hand you know a bit of sandpaper a bit of file um, I'm gonna grind I found it's a bit too aggressive and uh, Take an extra 10-15 minutes uh, polishing that you know bracket to near enough perfection. Uh, it makes it look uh, just a little bit more factory made. So it's not just a you know piece of shit you put together in a garage, uh, which it is because I don't even have professional you know bending tools. So it was a bit awkward the bending that angle from one piece of um, one piece of shit metal. Uh, but I find a way around it anyway somehow. So just take an extra 10-15 minutes. Um, polish all the edges you know just to make it sure it's all smooth uh, it will look uh, just just a little bit extra a little bit better when it's uh, completed on the bike right uh, let me finish it off and I'll show you how it looks on the bike all right guys so uh, here we are um, I've cut M6 M6 thread into a into that bracket um, simply because the M6 uh, bolts are on the back of the light, so I want to have the same, same thread kind of um, same bolts going onto the bracket as it's going onto the uh, onto the light itself. Kind of makes sense in my head. Uh, right, so this one goes here. They go slightly lower. Right, bracket mounted, nice and solid. Now I just need to accommodate the tail light in the back of it. Um, on the back of the bracket, I cut a little slots, not just the round holes, but just slightly slots. So I got the room to adjust the light one way or the other. On top of that, I will uh, create a, a rubber mount, uh, a rubber part in the back, so it's got some vibration dampening, you know, from a because uh, it's going to be in the swing arm, so it's going to be moving up and down slightly every now and again. There we go. Is that straight? That's straight. There we are. So that's taillight mounted. Uh, the wire is going to go probably uh, underneath, um, we clip it underneath the swing arm and on the other side so it goes up to my uh, all electrics in the but um, that's how it goes. Don't know about you guys, but I really like that look. It kind of uh, take a step step back. If I can find the room in my overcrowded garage, it kind of looks uh, looks clean on the back. There's nothing going on underneath the tail you need, so that's from a size going to be nice and clean. And then you got the light on the back. Um, and as I said, it kind of a happy accident that I got it and it was a little bit bigger than I expected because that kind of forced me to rethink and not mount it there, but I went over there. And underneath what I'll do, I'll create a, I'll create a number plate hurdle as well. Um, yeah, let's do this now.
So um, <coughs> there we go, my uh, number plate support kind of thing. I made it out of aluminium and the holes are drilled just to make it a little bit lighter. I mean it's light as it is anyway. Um, I can either uh, stick a double sided tape and put a number plate on that and just use these two uh, mounting holes just to uh, have a number plate this way. And I figure out the best way to put it here will be over here. Um, yeah, no, it's not exactly um, legal and it's probably um, gonna get me in trouble at some point. But you know what? Fuck that shit. It just... Uh, if you're watching outside the UK, you know, the, the regulations when it comes to number plates on the motorcycles are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, they are huge. <laughs> Regular side number plate, I'll show you. Because I think I've got one here. Yeah, there it is. This is a regular side number plate. Has my hand, and that's a number plate. So you have to stick out like this somewhere over here. Uh, this is way too big. Or even if it's gonna be underneath the, uh, if it was underneath here, it would just take up the whole the whole bike. I mean, look how big that is. That is bigger than me. You know, bigger, larger than life. And that's a legal size. Well. Fuck that shit. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a number plate holder. And I'm quite happy with that. If you're gonna get me in trouble, then well so be it. Nice and solid here, and then the light goes on top of that. So it's gonna illuminate this uh, little number plate underneath. I think uh, what I've done here is 7x5 or 8x5 inches, I can't remember now. And I'm gonna mount it like sideways so it's, it takes up even more, brings even more attention from the coppers. <laughs> but you know what? I'm happy with that. That's another step closer to uh, complete, that, um, complete that project. I'm not gonna bore you with uh, extending that cable. It's literally you need to just run behind that uh, brace and then up, and then uh, this is mounted. So we got tail light and number plate. Quite happy with that actually. It looks pretty, pretty good. Give you a look for the whole bike, more or less with a different angle, but it kind of. Uh, goes well. Uh, made this slightly um, adjustable so if it's under piss because it follows the swing arm I can move it slightly one way or the other. Yeah. Brushed aluminium and a light, kind of old school light. Happy with that result. Let me know what you guys think. You know, it's not too late to change that, but I'm 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 happy with this. I think I'll uh, I'm gonna keep it this way. It kind of uh, balances that gap. There was a much bigger gap, as I said in the beginning of the uh, of the session. 
there's a big gap over there no gap over here so that's kind of it was made for it I think it just uh, it's another win over here so uh, there we go guys um, all done for today taillight is mounted I'm uh, quite happy with it actually uh, the way it came out as I said previously um, I didn't plan it to put it in there at all until the taillight actually the, the light itself uh, arrived the other day and I was looking at it and thinking about it and uh, it just came to me again you know it's just the right spot and I think that's uh, that's the way of doing it if it doesn't doesn't work it just doesn't work but if it does you know it does and it's and it works actually quite well um, next one uh, probably you're gonna move on towards the front I've got some special coming up uh, uh, for the front, the part should arrive um, uh, shortly next week, hopefully, so we can crack on with uh, with some more um, additional parts on the front and uh, something interesting coming up. I'm hoping that's going to work. If not, we can reverse back to original, see what happens. Um, but until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a be, rock hard, and I see you next time.